an interesting story about Mitt Romney is uh, about his dad versus himself. It's a fascinating comparison. So uh, George Romney was Mitt Romney's dad. Uh, he was governor of Michigan. He'd also run for president. And when he did, he was the first guy to release his tax returns. Twelve years of tax returns uh, he uh, gave out to the press. And it turns out that he was kind of a good guy about it. He uh, did not avail himself of a lot of the loopholes that he could have at the time. Um, now, he gave a tremendous amount to the Mormon church. 19% of his income went straight to the church. I'm sure that was partly for charitable uh, deductions and partly because he believed in the church. Uh, but that's tremendous. And uh, he also gave a decent amount to charity. But, you know, even after all of that, the effective tax rate that uh, George Romney paid was 37%. Now, compare that to Mitt Romney saying that he pays about 15%. And it gives you a sense of where the money went. Now, th this is what I'm talking about. Now, this was, of course, several decades ago. If George Romney is paying 37%, and his son, who has about the same wealth and is, in fact, even richer than he is, is now paying 15%, well, that's 22% that could have gone to building better bridges, building better roads, better schools, providing education with kids who didn't have millionaire dads who, to give them a new opportunity. But it didn't go to any of that. Instead, Mitt Romney got to keep it, unlike his dad. Right? And so we're not saying that George Romney should have paid 90% or Mitt Romney should pay 90%, but 37% for a millionaire, and especially a multimillionaire like Mitt Romney, is not an unreasonable tax rate at all. At all. Not even close to unreasonable. In fact, we had our golden years in America when we were paying much higher rates uh, than that uh, for the top brackets. But instead, they just keep it. So Mitt Romney has more yachts, he has more limos, he has more of whatever he needs. He's richer so he can run for office, spend his own money, etc. And it doesn't help anybody but Mitt Romney. Do you really think 15% is the right rate for multi-millionaires? Look, George Romney thought, you know, apparently that he should pay even more because he voluntarily did not take those loopholes. Now, his son, on the other hand, has taken <laughs> loopholes ad infinitum. In fact, that leads me to the next Mitt Romney story. So, Mitt Romney apparently has been hiding a tremendous amount of money in the Cayman Islands. Now, uh, he says there's many different reasons why you, you, he would have assets down there. It's partly for a tax shelter for the people investing in his ventures so that they get a tax break. And it's partly because, of course, he hides his own money there so that it's a tax shelter so that he doesn't even have to pay the 15 percent that he would normally have to pay and says that he pays for the money that he is not hiding in a tax shelter. He doesn't even want to pay 15 percent, even though that's a tiny amount for uh, a person who has a quarter of a billion dollars. Well, it turns out uh, Romney has at least two um, funds down there that we know of uh, that he has reported. One is an $8 million fund, and the other one is a 5 to $25 million fund. So he's got a lot of booty down there in the Cayman Islands, which I guess for him is the Treasure Islands. And uh, the thing is, if it was just him, it would suck. But when he says basically that he wants to take these tax rates and apply it to all rich people, which his taxes, he would uh, lower taxes by about six trillion dollars, half of that would go straight to the rich. He wants to give away three trillion dollars in tax cuts to the already mega rich. Well, then when you want to do that on a national scale while running for president, so you get a bigger tax break and so do all of your rich friends, well, that doesn't just suck. That's just, it, it, it's, it's a huge problem for our economy. It's a huge problem for our budget. It's a huge problem for the entire country. So don't let, you know, Mitt Romney <laughs> be this pirate who's going to come in and basically take all the money and move it to places like the Cayman Islands so that they don't even have to pay their 15%, which is already comically low.